Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today is May 4th. So I'm going to be doing a Star Wars Get Ready With Me where I'm gonna kinda talk a lot about Star Wars and use all of my Star Wars themed makeup palettes that I've collected over the years. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. So I know my last video was also a Get Ready With Me. Um, I promise you my next one won't be. <laughs> but I am gonna be playing with all of my Star Wars makeup I kind of want to share what I have for the eyes first and then dive right into the eyes. So I have the Star Wars ColourPop Pressed Powder Palette. Now this one actually restocked today. Um, I was so disappointed that ColourPop chose to just restock a palette. Like they could have restocked and then also came out with another Star Wars palette. I feel like I'm not the only person that feels that way. I honestly thought they were gonna come out with like a Return of the Jedi just because it's the 40th anniversary or even an Ahsoka palette just because the TV series is coming out in August. But this is what the palette looks like on the inside and it is really beautiful. I actually created an Ahsoka look and I, I'm always mispronouncing the name and I apologize, but I did create a look and I did upload a short and, and I made a TikTok as well that's actually a little bit longer than the one that I uploaded on YouTube but you can check that out if you're interested. And then I also have the Mandalorian palette because I am a huge fan of the Mandalorian series, but this is what this palette looks like on the inside. And I also did a Mandalorian look or more of an inspired look, I should say. And that's also on my shorts and my TikTok. I also have the child palette. Um, I think the reason it was called the child is because we didn't know Grogu's name but that is what this palette looks like. And I believe all of these are still available to purchase on ColourPop's website. And then finally, the last one I have from ColourPop is my absolute favorite and it is Darth Vader. That is what this one looks like on the inside. Now, the only one I'm missing from ColourPop is actually the C3PO palette. And that's because it is full of neutrals. I do eventually plan on getting my hands on it. But I also have the Pat McGrath Star Wars makeup. So I'm gonna share that with you as well. So this one is the Divine Droid. Now I know when Pat McGrath like launched this like little mini Star Wars collection, there was like so much controversy around it. But this is the Divine Droid palette. I believe it was something along the lines of like repeats and how like one palette is just identical to a different palette. And the thing is, I didn't really mind because I didn't have any of these palettes if they were created beforehand. So I enjoy the packaging that it's Star Wars over the fact that it's just the plain Pat McGrath packaging. Now this one is the golden one. So this is Pat McGrath's C-3PO palette. And then that is what this one looks like on the inside. And I actually got all of these last Christmas as a gift from my wife. So which is why I have them all. The last smaller one I have from Pat McGrath is the Sith Seduction, which I love because I love Darth Vader. And that is what this one looks like on the inside. And lastly, I do have the Mothership Midnight Sun Palette. So this one is the one that had a lot of controversy around it because it's just a sticker apparently, which I, like I said, I don't have the original Midnight Sun, so it doesn't really bother me. And I definitely prefer packaging that has Darth Vader on it over just the plain black. And that is what this one looks like on the inside. It is really pretty. So that is all the eyeshadow products. I have a few more eye products that are Star Wars themed, but I just want to dive into the eyeshadow. And I went ahead and I already primed my eyes using the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base because I cannot help but use that product. So I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do my look today and my kids have been really enjoying my Star Wars themed looks. Um, my, especially my oldest, he's like really into Star Wars and then my youngest is starting to get into it. My daughter does not care, okay? She, she does no interest in Star Wars. Unlike me who has a lot of interest in Star Wars, it's one of my favorites, I guess like fandoms, I guess. I was raised a Star Wars child and like I have collectibles. I have the Darth Vader lightsaber from Disney World. I have Ahsoka, well, I, my husband picked out Ahsoka Tano's lightsaber hilts from Disney World. I have Funko Pops. I have like t-shirts. I have like these cute earrings that are in my ear now from Girls Crew. Like if it's Star Wars, I'm in. 
but what I was saying is I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And like May the 4th is more of like the Jedi side and you got Revenge of the 5th, which is like my favorite, which is like the Sith side because I am a sucker for the bad guys. And I wanted to do a Jedi look, but then I realized like Jedi's just kind of wear brown and it's kind of boring. So my look today is gonna be based off like the opening credits of Star Wars. And that is what we're gonna go with. So a couple other products that I picked up to use today are some liners from Subia Beauty. So I have the Hydra Liner in Gold Digger. So this is a gold chrome liner here. And then for my yellow, I'm going to use from Subia as well. And this is from one of the FX palettes. So this is not a shade you can purchase individually, but it is the shade Mellow. So it's gonna be this like golden yellow here. And so that is the products we're gonna start out with. And then let's go. So I'm a big fan of these water activated liners. I love adding graphic liner to any of my looks. And so I feel like with Star Wars, I'm gonna try to go all out. Not that I'm on a limited time, but my my smart ass is over here like filming this today and trying to post this today, okay? So I'm trying here. Last weekend, we went and saw the Return of the Jedi in movie theaters because they had a special you know, experience like, you know, back in theaters for the 40th anniversary. So I took my sons to that. It was also Emmett's birthday, who's also having a Star Wars themed birthday party this this weekend. So both boys were super excited to see Return of the Jedi because that is also their favorite movie from the original trilogy. So they were super excited to have that experience. And I'm not gonna lie, so was I, because obviously I was not around when that movie was in theaters. Me and my husband took the boys. Sarah and Harper had a girls day because Sarah's gonna fall asleep during a Star Wars movie. If it's like, if it's a movie and it's action packed, Sarah will fall asleep and Harper has no interest in Star Wars. She also claims it is too scary for her, but she also said that about Super Mario. So it was just better if it was me and the boys and Keegan, just because we all love Star Wars. Poor Ethan, he fell asleep after like Han getting rescued. <laughs> I was like, the poor kid. So he slept on my lap almost the entire movie. So I'm kind of doing this sloppy because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and then I'll clean it up af off camera because in order for me to do graphic liner like this, I have to be up in the mirror, right? And I cannot do that and film at the same time. So I'm just giving it like a rough outline so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to clean it up in just a second. So rough outline, BRB. So I have like the idea of the liner I wanna do. Now I wanna find like out of all of these palettes, a black that's like super sparkly. I believe the Pat McGrath one is the way to go. Yeah, for sure. So I'm actually going to play with the Galactic Conquest, which is this really pretty black sparkly shade, but it kind of looks like stars. But now that I have like swatched it, it kind of shears out. So I'm gonna lay down a matte black first and I'm going to use that I'm going to use the matte black from the Star Wars pressed powder palette from ColourPop so there is a black in here and the shade name is Star Destroyer and I'm going to be placing it like in the wing and bringing it out to the center of the eye all right so we did the Return of the Jedi movie experience and then this weekend Emmett is having a pool party for his birthday and he wants it Star Wars themed so I'm gonna get um, some pool noodles that are like red, blue, green, like those colors, maybe even like one purple one for Mace Windu over there and kind of have like lightsabers for the kids to play with in the pool. Cause I feel like that would be a lot of fun. So I'm kind of just applying this with like a small detailing brush so I can kind of stay in the lines mostly. It looks like I might have to go over my liner one more time but I had a feeling I was gonna have to do that anyway because I wanted to have like a precise shape for my eyes today and not go outside of the lines. But I wanted, like like I said, I wanna do a Jedi look, but the problem is my favorite Jedi is Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I'm sure that's like a lot of people's favorite Jedi, but I also just really like Ewan McGregor. So that's kind of why as well, but he wears a lot of brown and yeah, his lightsaber is blue. So I could add like pops of blue but I want to do something a little bit more creative today. And I feel like the Star Wars intro is like iconic and basing an eye look off that is kind of fun instead of just playing with neutrals. But my ultimate favorite character from Star Wars is Darth Vader. And 
like my favorite movies are from like the original trilogy from the original trilogy, my favorite is definitely Empire Strikes Back because it definitely has more Vader scenes in it. And it's also the first movie that you actually hear the Imperial March. Like it was not in A New Hope. So you get like that Darth Vader, like, I mean, everybody knows Darth Vader's like soundtrack, like that one song. And then I really also enjoy from like the prequel trilogy is the, was it Revenge of the Sith? No, is it? Oh no, it's the third one when Anakin becomes Darth Vader. And I really like that one. And I love the memes that come out of it when like Obi-Wan like basically almost defeated Anakin and where he's like, I've got the high ground. Like that, the memes that go with that are, are honestly the best. I think I'm gonna take the black just a little bit more in because I'm gonna do silver in the inner corner. But I never play with the black in this palette before. Um, I usually, my go-to when I grab a black shadow is from Natasha Denona, and I believe it's like, and I can't remember which one it is, but it's in like pink packaging. It's a newer release, like within the last year. That black in there is like the best black I've ever seen in my entire life when it comes to shadow. But I wasn't, I haven't used the ColourPop one, and this one is really black. I love it. And I was going to go with silver, but I think I'm actually going to do gold to tie it all in, because I feel like the gold would look really nice with the yellow. So I have a really beautiful gold in this Pat McGrath palette right here. And then also the shade New Hope from this one is also really pretty gold. Oh yes. So I'm actually gonna take, I'm gonna end up using both, but I'm gonna take the one from the Golden One palette and I'm gonna use the gold in here. And I'm gonna put that in the, not all the way to the inner corner. So I'm actually gonna use my finger for that one. Kind of just like, Press it on there. And I'm also gonna have to use a detailing brush, okay. I end up doing a lot of my makeup with like small detailing brushes because I like everything to be like perfect and precise. And I find like dense, small brushes like this help me get what I want. But I'm gonna take that almost to the inner corner and then I'm gonna apply the gold from the ColourPop Star Wars palette that's called A New Hope because it's just a little bit of a lighter gold into the inner corner. So a gold from A New Hope, small detailing brush. But I also personally enjoy all the series that Disney Plus has done with the Star Wars like timeline, I guess. I don't even know what you would call that, like the Star Wars universe. And like, I really enjoy watching The Mandalorian. I enjoyed watching The Mandalorian so much that I'm actually retheming my Jeep to be Bo-Katan. Like, it's done. And I mean, I love it because I even have, like, this is my phone case. <laughs> it's Mandalorian. So I absolutely love the Mandalorian series. And then uh, I really, really, really enjoyed the Obi-Wan series. Just because, like, I don't know, like the whole storyline, I love how it went. I love how it kind of ties both the prequel and then like the original trilogy together. And it helps it all make sense with Obi-Wan's timeline along with Princess Leia's. To do the sparkly stars, I'm gonna use this black and I'm going to go ahead and pat it all over where I put the matte black, just because it's more, it feels like it's more of a topper shade. So, and I want to get like this star-like feel to it. To get the gold to kind of mesh with the black better, I'm taking my finger and just kind of patting them together just because they're both such a soft formula, if I use a brush, it's gonna wipe a lot away and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go over that liner and then I think I'm going to take a white one as well and then I'm gonna add little stars to it myself, but not like a full on like five pointed star, just kind of like that diamond shaped star and kind of add that in there. So I have a white liner from Suvia as well and this is in the shade Space Panda and I'm gonna use that to add stars. I'm trying to figure out, I need like the smallest brush I own. Ideally, I wanted to be able to talk more during this, but then I like doing so much liner work that it's kind of hard for me to hold a conversation because I'm trying to be so, so still to draw this on my face. So I am gonna like fast forward it so that way I can put it on my face. And I think, 
So like I've got two stars up here that I'm gonna have to touch up a little bit. But then once I put my foundation on, I think I'm gonna also add one down here as well. But obviously I want my foundation on. I've got a lot of fallout on my cheeks. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye, add this line work, and then I will put my foundation on and I'll come back and we'll do the under eyes and talk a little bit more about Star Wars. Okay, so I went ahead and added some blush, some contour, some foundation, and all of that stuff. So that way we can just move on to the under eyes. And I did add like some lashes, a little bit more stars right here, because I felt like it just kind of completed the whole like Star Wars vibe. But for under the eye, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with black in the outer corner. So I actually just saw that like ColourPop is doing a whole giveaway with all of their Star Wars like palettes. And then also like Girls Crew who has like these really cute Star Wars earrings. It's actually what's in my ears today. My hair is like completely covering it up, but I have, oops, he's upside down. But I have like Darth Vader up here and a TIE Fighter. And on this side I have a Stormtrooper. Like you can't even see them because they're just small studs, but they have like the cutest little selection of different like Star Wars characters. So there's like ones with lightsabers, there's ones with different starships. Like I know I have like the Death Star downstairs, Boba Fett, which as a kid, Boba Fett was one of my favorite characters. I don't know why, but it makes sense now because I really like the Mandal, like I love the Mandalorian. But my youngest also really loves Boba Fett as well. And he plays with like a Boba Fett ship. And I taught them like Boba Fett's ship flies like this. So now my kids like actually fly Boba Fett's ship properly, which I think is super cute because they like understand the concept that all the other ships fly like this and then that one flies like this. I personally think it's cute. So I'm going back in with the ColourPop palette and I'm gonna use the shade A New Hope and I'm gonna use that in my inner corner and kind of bring it to the middle. I don't think I'm gonna pull the gold from the Pat McGrath one again. I think I'm just gonna keep it with that, that really nice light gold. I really like that shade. It's much softer. Like, I like a yellow gold, but I definitely prefer the softer look. And I've already got like this big bold look on my eyes. So something a little bit softer is not too bad. So that's what I got on for the under eyes. I'm gonna throw on a black liner in my waterline because I try to put other colors in my waterline. I don't like the way it looks because if my mascara is black, I feel like my liner should also be black. So that's what I'm gonna do. And this is like a TG Maxx find. I found this at TG Maxx and this is like a Pat McGrath coal liner, right? This is probably the best coal liner I've ever used. And I don't even know if this was like exclusive to the Bridgerton collection, but uh, it's like the best $8.99 liner I ever got. If you ever come across it, pick it up. Now, I didn't mention this before, and I just realized like there was other eye products that I had that were Star Wars related, including like um, the Jelly Mud Shadows. I have like a Pat McGrath like little pots as well, but I've already finished my eyes, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I might post a short of like all the Star Wars makeup I have, but I do have the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara in like the Star Wars packaging which was such a huge disappointment because it is just a sticker and it's on crooked. But I like this mascara anyway. And when it's like when I went to go re-up on it, I was like, well, I might as well get the Star Wars packaging because it's the exact same price. But the sticker is shady shit. It's, that's all I'm in it. It's very shady. And I have the blue one as well from the Star Wars collection. Let me see. And I am that person, if the packaging is like, like something limited edition. I will keep these things in the package, but I have the Dark Star Mascara in blue. I think they call it, it's a color blitz and it's ultraviolet blue. And even though I'm not using it today, like look at that color. It is so pretty. It reminds me of R2D2, but I think they have like a pink and a green one. I only got this one. Okay, so I have Star Wars lippies from the ColourPop collection. Now, I know when they restocked, they didn't restock these. I don't know if they're in stock or not. And honestly, I can't remember the colors, so I'm going to see to figure out. So this is Supreme Ruler, which is like a nice, dark, deep, vampy look. Yes, I keep them in the package. And then I got the shade Dark Lord, which is a nude. The last shade I have is Surrender. Oh, and this is a red. So I have like red in my shirt, so I think I'm gonna go with the bright red. 
I've never used these before. Like I just had them because when I purchased the Star Wars collection, I bought it all. I feel like this lip is like spreading and feathering, but it is what it is. I have two glosses as well, and one's in the shade Imperial and one's in the shade Elite. So there's a purple one that I won't be using, and that is the shade Elite. And then this is the shade Imperial, and it's like more of a pink tone. I don't think I'm gonna add a gloss because this lip is actually already pretty shiny, and this is like more pink toned, and I just don't think it's gonna go with the entire look. All right, so that kind of just completes the look. All right, go ahead and let me know down below if you're a Star Wars fan too. And if you are, like, what is your favorite movie? And thank y'all for watching. And until next time, bye y'all. See, Star Wars, my phone rings. And yes, it is The Mandalorian.